The jury in a Seminole County attempted murder case is now deliberating. After hearing from the only defense witness in the case, closing arguments have just concluded in the trial of Daquan Butts, and the jury has been instructed. West Jews Dave McDaniel is live at the Criminal Justice Center with the latest. Yeah, the girlfriend of the man accused in this case took the witness stand this morning. She was the first and only defense witness. She said she was very near the area where the shots were fired last September, and she said her boyfriend had nothing to do with it. Yes, I heard the gunshots. And how many gunshots did you hear? Probably about four or five. A woman who said she has been and wants to continue to be Daquan Butt's girlfriend defended him. And but when I stepped into the road to see what was going on, he was nowhere in sight. She said when she heard shots last September, including the shot, which injured two people, including a very serious stomach injury to 11-year-old Jeremiah Taylor, that her boyfriend had nothing to do with it. In fact, she said, when she saw Butts walk out of a house a bit later, he seemed confused by all of the commotion. The state challenged her testimony. You had a conversation with Mr. Butts that night, trying to develop an alibi for him, didn't you? No, sir. Daquan Butts told the judge he would not take the stand, leaving the attorneys with the last word. The state said little Jeremiah knew right away what had happened. He's laying there. Who did this? Who did this? Oh. The state says Bobo is how Butts is known in the neighborhood. The defense argues. But you can't base your decision on feeling sorry for the little boy. Because we already all do. Everybody feels bad for him. He went through a horrible experience. But just because he went through a horrible experience does not make that man guilty. And the defense insists there are holes in the state's case. For example, they say there are the discrepancies in the testimony. They also say a gun was never found on the day of this shooting. Now, the jury's had this case for just a little over a half hour. As soon as we get a verdict, we will pass it along to you. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.